hi everyone that's Kevin over here and today we will be discussing on how we can sort out the issue of no HTTP trigger founds and this is one of the annoying issue like my team was stuck on it since last couple of days and finally somehow I found I was able to find the solution and not even the chat GPT not even the stack overflow or the github issues was able to help us out so I thought of let's create a video and so that uh, we can solve the hunger of the world so it's a uh, so the issue what we are having is we have created a as Python as your function app it is running on fast API as a backend and if we hit the API in a local it works as expected but as soon as we deploy it it just says the no HTTP trigger found now the problem with that is we are not able to see any extra log which is one of the biggest pain because if you have a log then you can think of what is what is going wrong so I was debugging and finally found out a way by which we can uh, we can exactly see uh, what's the error uh, see the error on the on the Azure side so what you have to go you have to go to the functions app s select the function on which you are deploying it out then you have to go to the diagnose and self problems and after going over here next thing what you have to do is you have to select the diagnostic tools and after selecting this you have to the keyword names is keyword name is functions that are not triggering you have to search for that specific keyword here and as you're gonna select that you will be able to find out the exact reason and uh, another thing another weird thing with this is this is going to take some time to show you the exact errors so now if you see over here it is specifically showing up like I am missing some of the libraries so uh, uh, due to which it is causing this issue so main problem with this is uh, where I where I was getting stuck is like uh, in my requirement txt for some of the files are not there so I'll be just adding those files back uh, now you can use the pip freeze for that and once that is done then go to the azure back and just deploy here I'll be selecting the same python fast api and let's see hopefully we will be getting a success now over here select on deploy so finally the deployment got completed and here comes the final output and you can see now it is detecting the http trigger urls which it was not triggering previously so i think that's all i hope you like this video please feel free to comment out if you have any other questions i'll be help you, uh, happy to help you out thank you bye bye have a nice day